What is going on everybody? This is the XL here and today I will be showing you my mob counter. Now I was looking on the computer for a mob counter for the Xbox 360 and I couldn't find any. Most of the designs are using weighted pressure plates which we do not have. But how it works is this simple counting system down here which overlooked ENT and Broadbent Broadbent sent me in a tweet whenever I was asking about a death counter and basically how this works is it counts them and then after a certain number of blocks it resets so if we go up here the mobs will fall down onto this and then get pushed forward we'll just break this for now and that should have counted one time and it did and uh, I have a manual button right here to show you this just counts it just like that and it does this for 43 times and then once it does that it'll do a manual reset which then triggers this wire and then powers this button or this piston forward breaking the connection once it all retracts allowing it to go another 43 times which will then allow you to go up to 86 mobs which is I think five five over five or ten over the spawn or max level for 30 mobs which is 165 and then once it does that it'll count 43 sending the power down to this lot and stopping the mobs from falling in and this is going to be the manual reset but I'm going to skip it here and I'm going to press the button 43 or 42 times then I'll start recording then and I will show you this in action so I'll see you then alright so as you can see we're ready for the final button so I'm going to press it and now it starts coming down and you see it retract and once it gets to here it blocks that off now it will allow for the last 43 to be counted and I'm going to skip to that part right now okay now we're back and I'm going to press this button one last time. And now it's going to start going off, or it should. Oh yeah, don't go off now. I forgot, it's the manual reset part. So see, now it shuts it to where mobs can't fall down here anymore. You kill them, you get your... 86 mobs and then you will actually have to do this two times to get 30 levels so it counts 43 43 will be 86 and then 86 more will give you over that number but I thought that would be good enough and this is just an idea and then that should reset it And it is. And now the only thing that you have to do, see this should have been, that's reset, the lot's reset, and the only thing you have to do is you have to break that block and put it back and put the redstone wire in it. And that's my concept of a mob counter. I have another one I'm going to show you and if you like this one I'll possibly give a tutorial on it I don't know assuming we're gonna get other kinds of blocks in the game I don't really think this tutorial will be necessary but this is the first mob counter of its kind that I've seen so if you enjoy this leave a comment in the dis or in on the video and I'm going to skip and show you my other concept 
Thanks for watching. Okay, now we're back. Now this kind of has a similar design with the mobs falling on the pressure plate, which then they drop down into here. But I'll show you where it differs. Right here, it will count up to 36 mobs, which is why that sand is all that that high. But it's not really reliable if more than one mob falls on it at once. So basically how it works is it'll count, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It'll count 12 each time and it resets and then that clock breaks. And we'll do it again and one more time and then you come down here and this slot should be on yep and that lets you know that the 36 mobs have fallen and you're ready to kill them and it it'll take about four and a half to five times to get 30 levels doing it this way so that way I showed you down there is much more efficient and this has a manual reset on it there's pistons controlling the gold blocks these glowstone and that one and come down here and we'll pull this lever and that just breaks it so but I thought this concept was pretty cool once it triggers, or once the block gets pushed on that, it re resets it. So, I would much rather give a tutorial on this one because that's the first time I've ever seen anything like that with a reset and how it can count twice. But if I get enough comments and stuff on it, I will build that one. I'll probably do this one pretty soon but because this can be just like an all-around counter you don't have to have that many and you definitely don't need it that tall but I'm sure if another person who's really good with redstone sees this they will be able to compact that and make it a whole lot more efficient than what I could but I thought this was a pretty cool concept and anyway guys this has been the X-Salve and I hope you enjoyed have a nice day